Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings. And we're looking at a week of July the 20th to the 26th, 2020. Now, the word 2020 is beginning to feel offensive <laughs> to me and many others. This has not been a great year for many people. There's a lot of upset in the air, a lot of uncertainties in the air. And above all, <clears throat> we had eclipses and full moons and stuff that upset a lot of us. But finally, we're coming out of it. Here's what happens. On the 20th of July, we're having a new moon. It's a new moon on Monday. And yes, it's a Monday. <laughs> okay. And I haven't been able to sleep for about four weeks, roughly. And I mean, two hours a night, which is not me. Normally, I just sleep like a rock or a log, whatever you want to call it. Sleep like a baby, right? So and all of a sudden, for the last three to four weeks, I had about two to three hours of sleep max and then sometime the next day I just whoop, fell apart <clears throat> um, did my best to overcome this um, didn't want to take any supplements but I noticed this is all somehow related to the stars as it usually is I'm always uh, quite um, affected by anything that happens in the universe because that's where I'm from and that's where you are from okay so the Energy on, the, on July the 20th um, is the energy that tells you to look into things where you feel we haven't tried this long enough, or I haven't tried this long enough, sorry, I have tried this long enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see if I go within, if I can find an answer whether or not this is actually working and this is relating to anything. So this is not just relationships, this is also about um, your path, this is about uh, work. If you feel, would I send my best friend into this relationship? Would I send my best friend into uh, to work? And the answer is, nah. <laughs> then what you need to do is say to the universe, I'm cutting this connection. I'm cutting this contract that I somehow agreed to and I'm asking you, which is your guides, to help me find where I'm thriving it the most at this point in time. Just help me. Right? So it's always good to ask the guides for help. So before we go into the um, star signs, <clears throat> we always look at the overall energy <coughs> for the week ahead. And we're looking at the week of July 20th to 26th. If you think like I have a bit of a hunchback, that's because I put this camera on the chair as far back as I can. And there's a backrest, so I can't put it further. And I don't want to sit like this. <clears throat> right? So I'm trying to be in frame for you so you don't have a half a head here. So I'm, I'm, I'm moving slightly forward. So I don't have bad posture. Right? It's just, um, you know. It's just the way it is today. Okay, here we go. So, um, I work with animal guides and spirit, uh, uh, spirit animal guides, I can't talk today, spirit animal guides and Native American guides. But I also have two deck of cards uh, by Denise Lynn that I don't often use, but I felt to look at the overall energy, I should refer uh, to these cards. And before I started uh, the record button here, I, I, I asked, um, for the overall energy to be given to me with the deck by Denise Lin. Um, and here is what the guides are saying. My feeling is, because I remember I, I, um, I have my, my health issues and, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting better and better. I did some, some live uh, videos, so I'm, I'm, you know, getting there. But there are days, um, or, or, you know, where I just can't promise I'm up to recording. So on my uh, Energy and Star Sign uh, Readings website, Facebook site, I said I'm going to do this bi-monthly. <laughs> right? And I think <coughs> what the guides are telling me here, that the overall energy that I'm getting for this week 
will actually be longer. So I'm not sure if it's for two weeks, right? There's a good chance that I will be, you know, fit enough um, um, to do this next week, you know, depending how, how I feel really. But here is the overall energy for at least a week and a half, starting from July 20th, right? Which basically would mean from the 20th to the end of July, right? Um, and what we're getting is, is um, a fresh new energy is coming in finally. And what happens is this, when the energy comes in and you feel finally, oh my God, I feel so much better, because you have been on edge for a long time, you'll probably have a little bit of a breakdown, right? Perfectly fine, tears are sacred medicine, have your breakdown, there's nothing wrong with it, right? But then it's important to say like, okay, I had my breakdown, right? Um, and now I, it's not just about picking myself up, now it's about saying, I am going to transform my life by looking at the areas that just don't work for me. And, um, you know, you can actually add this, I've had enough, right? Insert swear word, swear word here, <laughs> if that makes sense. <coughs> so what the guys are saying is two things. Um, number one, yes, you will begin to transform. It's about time, but you have free will. If you go back into your normal patterns, that's your choice, right? That's just how this works. And I, and I can already hear see people say, like, well, I can't just leave the job tomorrow, can I? <laughs> I wasn't asking you to. What I'm saying is, if this is your issue, then you say to the universe, help me leave this job ASAP. Because the moment you make it about uh, paying rent, you manifest money. You can't do that. When you ask the universe to look after you and keep you safe, that's exactly what's going to happen. Right? You need to have that little bit of... Of faith and I and I can tell you I've been living in different countries um, you know have moved a lot of times and um, I you know might not have a lot of wealth right? but you know I'm in a good place I have my own little flat here in Canock I love Canock <laughs> right I love my little place right so and if you know if I wanted a bigger house and kind of stuff you know um, I just say to the universe but look after me. So also, it's, it's realizing um, to be grateful for what you got, if that makes sense, right? <clears throat> okay. Uh, cut a long story short, obviously there's a bit of a talk here before we go into the energy, simply because it is important to realize that we're coming out of a really bad patch. And we need to have our strengths to look and, and hear the messages that are coming. So what the guides are saying is um, a fresh new energy is coming and a new way of life actually can emerge and will emerge for a lot of you and we are going into uh, an episode for the next week and a half you know according to the guides for blessings so this is not about counting your blessings this is by just realizing that anything that is good in your life needs to be looked at right it's always easy to be negative so look at the things the areas in your life where you feel Actually, you know what? I'm doing quite well here, right? Then take it in, be grateful, and then manifest, right? So now we're going into the star sign of Leo, which is the first star sign we're beginning with. And let's have, let's say let's have a look what they're saying. The energy that I'm asking the guides to provide is for the week of the 20th to the 26th, right? So, okay, for Leos. This is the time for you where you need to realize maybe I don't have to do things on my own, right? Really important. This is the time to reach out for people. And if you are a Leo that feels lonely and maybe isolated, then say to the guides, I deserve better, right? And what that means is you have to first work on yourself. If you're whole, if you feel I'm good enough, that's when you can manifest the companion, right? Because before that, because you're not whole, you're not complete, the universe meets you at your energy. So they send you, you know, people, partners and the likes, who are also not complete, right? <laughs> this is the idea. Nobody can complete you. The idea is that, you know, you are complete and then anything else is a bonus. But what I'm getting for Leo this week is to look at your companions you know the people you spend a lot of time with the people you love dearly right and see if things need to be tweaked and need to be talked about 
right? Because you have the spirit of nurture, which means this is the time, 20th to the 26th, where you have to say, I want to nurture myself. And anything that doesn't nurture myself is an obstacle. And what the guides are giving me is to look into the people you spend time with and see if they're actually an obstacle or if they're here also to nurture you and have a conversation, right? So the guides have not said, you know, to end any relationships or be hostile, not at all. But for Leos, it is important to realize that, you know, you deserve companionship, right? You deserve companionship, so you work on yourself to feel like I'm good enough so that this can be manifested, if that makes sense. So I'm feeling for Leos, there's a lot of isolation going on um, where you feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm not whole, right? And all the guides are saying is, you know, you can't get someone to make you whole, but you can be with someone, right, to help you or be with you on the journey, who nurtures your being, right? So that's what this is about. That's what I'm getting for Leo. So this, is, this was all personal stuff. This was not about work or anything really, right? So now we're going into Virgo. I'm drawn to these guys. Okay, big changes for Virgo, right? Should you come? Should should you <laughs> should you accept this mission? It sort of comes to my mind. Here's what the what the Virgos need to look at this week, 20th to the 26th of July. The guides are saying, you are important. You really are important, and you have been lying dormant for a while, right? Maybe just doing your thing, and now it is time to explore what's out there, anew. Right? And what they're saying to you is, that you have, the, you have the rabbit here, and the rabbit is saying, you have no idea how deep the rabbit hole is. Right? So, and it goes all, all, all sorts of ways. So what, the, what Virgos are basically need to understand this week is that you are important, that you have worth, that you have, uh, that you have self-value and, and value as such. And maybe if you feel like you're in the wrong job, in the wrong place, then say to the guides, okay, I'm not manifesting or looking for the same thing, right? Help me. That's always what that's all, all, all you ever have to do is to say help. Because the guides cannot tell you what to do because you have free will. But the feeling I'm getting for Virgo is to say, like, maybe I shouldn't always look for the same type of thing. Okay? So that was Virgo. Going into Libra. <coughs> Short and sweet for Libra. You have the ancestor of exile and the shaman of foresight. What they're saying is, if you feel isolated, right, that's something you must have felt before, right? So you must have felt, you know, um, off, <laughs> you know, not fully belonging. For a, long, for a long time, but you have the shame and the foresight. And what they're saying is, look, don't look at what isn't working. It seems to be uh, um, across the board so far, this sort of message. Don't look specifically at what isn't working and just have foresight and say, like, where, would I, where would I like to go and manifest it? Where would I like to go and manifest it? Right? It always sounds um, easy, and it's uh, certainly easier said than done. But what I have learned over time is when I just go like, yeah, um, this isn't working, and this isn't working, and I, and I try to avoid the frustration that comes with it. right? Or when I am frustrated, I try to be frustrated for a short time. I pick myself up and say, like, okay, that, that's enough for the day, so that I can actually have a better, higher energy to get out of that crap. You understand that? And that's what I'm getting uh, for Libra, you know, with your foresight going like, yeah, I'm going for my goals, okay? Now we're going into Scorpio. Ah, <laughs> Scorpio, 20, July, July 20th to 26th is a good time. It's a good time. We have the doll sheep and the hummingbird. 
and um, I'm, I'm working with Animal Guide, so every animal stands for something. And what the doll's sheep is saying to you, you can hang on a cliff on two legs and don't fall. It's basically also what we call a money card, which means you will be fine and you will be cared for also financially in this world where unfortunately money rules a lot, right? And you have the hummingbird. Any changes that come your way, any changes that come your way, you will be able to deal with it, okay? Really, really important. You will be able to deal with it. The other thing is that I'm sort of getting for um, Scorpio is, is to maybe um, compartmentalize a little. If too much hits you at once, you put things to, 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 to one side and work on the things that feel more important to you. It also means that when you have people that, that come to you a lot, maybe it's time to have some boundaries. Okay? So that Scorpio going into Sagittarius, <coughs> Let's have a look. Okay. Sagittarius are being asked to be loyal to yourself. Right? Remember, the overall energy that we have here is about transformation and blessings. But you need to want it. You need to say, yeah, I want things to change for the better. Right? And I want to feel and see my blessings. So you have to acknowledge this. And what Sagittarius has have this week is the dog, the crow and the hawk. And the dog is saying, be loyal to yourself. Okay? Be loyal to yourself. Look at your needs. And also, you can look at your wants as well. You know, this week. And just go like, yeah, I deserve this. I deserve a better me, if that makes sense. And manifest it that way because you have to crow which means you're going through transformation transformation is never a short thing anytime you go through something it takes time so this week you might not get to the end of issues right but you're going through it and when you look at just what you want if that makes sense and about your needs it's going to be easier and here's how you have the hawk the hawk uses the upthrust of the air to glide and so what they're saying is if you are in situations where you, where you have to explain yourself a lot, that's already wrong. Because gliding means, you know, I don't have to explain myself, right? And I'm not going to, okay? So be loyal, right? Be less, um, you know, when people push your buttons and they trigger you, you go into the same pattern as we all do. A lot of people, you know, have fought well with someone else for 20 years. And unless they change that pattern, nothing's ever changing. Right? If that makes sense. So, you know, you, you don't have to fight, right? If that makes sense. Okay. So that was Sagittarius going into Capricorn. Okay. Capricorns are battling with a lot of stuff um, that has to do with the past. Things that happened in the, in, in the past are now coming out to be released. Right? So, so you will maybe find that this week is a week where you will reminisce, you will miss things, you will also maybe get angry because there were things that weren't great in your past that have left their mark, you know, all these things. And all the guides say, and this is again one of those things that's easier said than done, is to let it go. If you hold on, even if you hold on to grief, I guarantee you, someone passed, right? And they're now on the other side, as we call it. And you would cry every night. They don't want this for you. They want your happiness. And it's also the job of the guides. The guides really want your happiness. And that's where they're trying to push you. You know, but us being sort of trapped in this physical thing, uh, right? Um, we need to get through life somehow. And all the guides are saying is, this week for you, <coughs> excuse me, this week's for you, Capricorns, um, is about realizing that a part of you goes back into your memories, goes back into your past. And it's the week to say, I am letting this go. From now on, I live in the now. The now is the best place to be, because it's also the only place to be. Right? So what they're saying is, I am now, or what, what you need to say is, I am now fully here, in the moment. And from here on in, I stay in the moment and live and manifest accordingly. Okay, that was Capricorns. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, 
Aquarius. You can you can already see there's an overall message here of of um, looking at things that don't work. <coughs> excuse me, and change them slightly and go like, no, I'm going forward. And for Aquarius, you have the red wolf and the screech owl. So what that means is you should be in charge, but you're not. And that means in inverted brackets, you're not always in charge. There are things that are out of your control entirely. And if you get frustrated, sounds harsh, that's on you. You understand that you cannot control other people, you cannot control situations. What they've given me is because I, I, I know, <clears throat> excuse me, I know an Aquarius very well, and I know um, there's a there's a, a trip coming, and it's all booked and everything, and I'm not seeing this this not not working by the way, <laughs> but what they're showing me is actually that sort of scenario where you know you can you can plan as best you can, and nobody knows if you will get stuck get stuck in another country or not. Right? So it's saying like no. I'm gonna go on my holiday, right? And nothing will happen. And I'm just coming back and then deal with the thing that happens in my country. By being, sounds wrong, by having the faith to say like, I know I can't control it, but I'm staying in the now. Ta-da, right? Feels a bit like the, 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 the Capricorn star sign before that one. That's what you need to do. You have the red wolf, which means, you know, don't try to push things. The red wolf is a is a like all wolves is a pack animal, but he lives in the desert where um, things are very different. Where it doesn't make a lot of sense to live in packs because the opportunities there are are rare. And all that means is for you to realize, I, at times, have to be my own pack and rely on myself. Right, and you can because you have the screech owl, which means you know um, you need to create space. The feeling is for Aquarius that a lot of people, or maybe just a few people, depending on who you are, are always there in close proximity, either by text or in person, and they're really demanding, right? And people can be needy if you let them. <clears throat> Situations can be needy if you allow it and all the guides are saying is that's something you can control right so this is about looking at who is invading your space a little bit and also just realize there are things that you cannot control and it's perfectly fine okay there was a glorious so pisces my star sign okay let's have a look at pisces okay guides please be kind <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, it's my asthma. Isn't great, which is also one of the reasons why I don't record all that much. Pisces. I was just saying to the guides, please be kind, right? And it was sort of meant as a joke, but not really. And here is what we have for the week of July 20th to the 26th. We have the polar bear and the raven. Okay? And the polar bear of all bears is the most vulnerable. So this is the time for us to say like, okay, yes, I am still vulnerable. I have the right to take things slowly and look at my vulnerability, let it go bit by bit and do not get frustrated overly that I'm actually in pain. So this is a week for all of our spices to say like, whatever is still sits there, right? Which actually goes hand in hand with the July 20th energy of the, 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 the new moon. Is to say like maybe there's something contractional uh, going on that you just need to let go. Right? So for us Pisces this week, this week, can't speak. For us Pisces this week, it's important to, to allow yourself to, yes, I'm a bit vulnerable, I'm a bit hurt and allow it to go. What I'm getting a lot is what I'm doing. I have my little pendulums here and I draw myself a vortex <clears throat> a lot over the solar plexus, right? And, um, you know, draw me a vortex. Draw me a vortex. Thank you. Right, so what I do is I draw a vortex of fresh energy over my solar plexus. Then normally <clears throat> I do the standing up and then step into the vortex. Thank you. And then take the energy that I'm stepping in and do like this.
get me fresh energy. And then we have the raven, the, an the animal <clears throat> of illumination. And what they're saying is, if you allow yourself, Pisces this week, to, it's not weaknesses that we should be looking at, but it's like, you know, whatever is still inside you that has caused you a lot of pain and hurt, right? Don't blame anyone. It's pointless, absolutely pointless, <laughs> right? <clears throat> Even if the people in inverted brackets deserve your wrath, right? It's pointless because all it does, it gets the energy down. So this week for us Pisces is let it go and allow ourselves, allow yourselves Pisces this week to just heal because the animal of illumination, the raven, is in the same boat as the polar bear for us Pisces. And it means that so it means we will be coming out of it much, much stronger, but we have to allow ourselves to take time out and say like, you know what, I'm not well. And um, <clears throat> that's, that's all it is. Uh, allow yourself to, to not be miserable, if that makes sense, but to kind of go like, yeah, I'm going through stuff and it's my stuff and I'm going through it as slowly as I want. Right? Okay, that was Pisces. I was hoping for a lottery win or something nice. <laughs> I don't even play lottery. Okay, just messing. So we're now we're going into Aries. <clears throat> Okay, Aries, you have the dancer of joy and the answer of boundaries, which means the week July 20th to the 26th is not going to be a bad week. It's a week where you kind of go like energetically speaking, yeah, it's all good, right? And But you need boundaries because what they're saying to you is if you have a high energy and you feel like, yeah, I'm going to do this today, and then there are people in your life that sort of <laughs> stop you from doing things, then that's what you need to look at, right? It's about boundaries. It's about setting boundaries. Um, <clears throat> what comes to mind is one of those um, things that I hear a lot, um, you know, especially when I, when I do readings with um, people who have grandchildren. They, they tell me, oh, you know, when I have the grandchildren, I can't even go to the loo, right? And I say to them, like, in, imagine you have the runs and you need to go. So when you are on the toilet for five minutes longer than normal and you come out of the loo, are the kids still alive? They say, like, yeah, of course. So you have five more minutes. And what comes to mind is, <clears throat> is to basically show the kids, here's my cup of tea, which means time out. I'm not playing, I have me time. It's just one of those scenarios <clears throat> <clears throat> that the guides show me. So. You have the right to experience joy and be joyful, but every now and then, actually more than every now and then, you need to look at people who invade your space, even if you love them dearly, and they love you dearly, because they're not bad people, but if you allow it, of course they invade your space and set boundaries, right? That was Aries going into Taurus. <laughs> okay, Taurus, you have the ring neck, the ring necked pheasant, and the crow. Ooh. <laughs> the week of July the 20th to the 26th for Tauruses, <clears throat> and there will always be exceptions to the rule, so don't worry, might be a difficult one. In the sense that this is the week where um, you will be misunderstood. Not everybody gets you. Right? And the crow is saying, because you know, obviously you're going through a phase of figuring out how to react to things, is to take your time away. Right? If you feel, you know, no matter what I say, I'm not getting through, then the next two words that follow is fuck it. Right? Sorry for swearing. I've been told so many times, you know, you can't be possibly working with with guys because you swear. I have always had foul language, you know, I'm from Frankfurt, what do you expect? <laughs> but you understand that, what the guides are saying to Tauruses, you will feel misunderstood and maybe it's time to say like, okay, there's a communication blockage, so what's the point in reiterating a point over and over again? 
This is the week to say like, okay, take a step back and um, just relax, right? Because this feeling of not being understood won't last forever, okay? That was Taurus's, I just need a sip of water here. <sighs> okay. Going into Gemini, our second last star sign of the week. By the way, people have said, um, oh, you're doing your star sign readings again. Have you heard that NASA, NASA has some, um, I don't know what they found or whatever happened there, but they, um, they changed them. So apparently there's now another star sign. <clears throat> My answer is, I don't care, right? I, Nata to me is not an authority on anything, right? I will not. Actually, I, 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 I would probably still be Pisces if that makes sense. I, I, um, I think what comes to my mind is that this must be this new star sign must be in October, November. That's what the guides give me. So I probably wouldn't even be affected. The point I'm making is, I'm not gonna look into some brand new stuff that hasn't even existed for thousands of years. And put another star sign in here and tell you all your different star signs. I choose to ignore that crap, right? So as far as I'm concerned, I'm talking to the to the Gemini's that have always been Gemini's. Right? Don't look at your date and be like, I wonder what I'm now. You are Gemini, right? Okay. All right. You have the rum and the peacock. Right? Beautiful here. I love this deck. It's the first deck that ever came to me. Um, and this was in the in the early 2000s um, and unfortunately I haven't haven't I don't have the box I have used this for for 15 years at least um, and I don't know who did it I know they're called animal spirits knowledge cards um, and um, I know they're from from California right they're, 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 but that's what I that's all I sort of remember about the packaging <clears throat> the reason why I'm bringing this up is, is unclear to me I think that probably one of you some of you will know wants to know what I'm using here um, I have used them, but again, I'm, I'm connecting to the energy of the animal in the picture, if that makes sense, right? So you have the rum and the peacock for this week, Gemini's. And the rum is about growth. <clears throat> People always say, oh, isn't, 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 uh, you know, anything that is goat-like uh, a sacrifice. No, that's bloody religion, right? I'm not knocking religion, but I don't adhere to it, right? Because I don't believe that sacrificing anybody, right, would please any real god bollocks right so when you have the um the rum as an animal here they're not asking you to sacrifice anything not at all they're asking you because you know it's the animal that, that, that sort of goes up mountains and stuff this is about growth this week you have a really good chance to grow actually this is all about spirituality Spirit. here right so this is how this works there's a message here on my phone don't know what it says okay <laughs> right so um yeah that's what it. That, that's what. It, that's what it. That, that's what it. That's what it means. <laughs> it's about growth. You have a good chance of growing this week, but you also have the peacock, and the peacock has this beautiful wheel, and he has this just to keep people away. And so what they're saying is, right? It's don't. You can't really grow by um, being distant, keeping people at bay. This is about growing in whatever situation you're in. That's really what this is about, right, Gemini? Going into Cancer, the very last star sign. Here we go. <laughs> Cancerians, you have the panther and birds. So what they're saying is, it's time to step out of your shadows. It's time to look at anything and everything you've done and anything and everything that has happened to you don't hide emotions look at it and say like yeah okay that I, this is what this is about it takes this is the week for you to take stock of your own life to make better choices and to not run into the same problems if that makes sense so they're looking you um to to be a bit more open to feeling your true feelings and admitting your true feelings and maybe feel where you have done harm and damage and at least 
say to the universe that you're sorry if you are, right? Um, and then you have birds, because birds mean you need to get a vantage point from which to look at your life. And that's what they're trying to tell you. From the week, for the week, July 20th to 26th, they're asking you to step back from everything a little and then really assess your life. This is your job. One of the hardest jobs you can have, because when you start to assess, your, assess one's life, you kind of go like, where do I even start? And all the guides are saying is, start with now. What is happening now where you feel, I have to look at this? And that's all it is. That's all we have time for. I, uh, I, I hope I will be with you very soon again. Right? Thank you all for watching and please share this. It's pointless recording if nobody watches it. <laughs> Okie dokie. See you next week, hopefully, or the week after or something.